Hey everybody, I'm Passmore Nope, and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. We've made it into Mugshot's hideout. Last time we uh, we made it through his little intro level, but now we're in the we're in the real deal here. Well, this Mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. A little clue there. We're gonna somehow use that car. I don't know which car is honking at me here. Is it this one? No. Uh oh, oh, we got spotted <laughs> just at the last moment there. All right, we're going to move on the Boneyard Casino. You mentioned a cop. Uh, you might assume that he's talking about Sly, even though Sly's not a cop, but that could be Carmelita the Fox. Who knows? So here is... Is this one of my... Yeah, I like this level. It's really cool. casino theme level here. going to make sure there's... Here we go. Hit that switch, and that'll open us up to the level. Nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. So, yo, oh man, yeah, you want to be careful there because remember, the ranged enemies seem to have uh, homing shots. Oh crap, where do you go? Uh huh, okay. If you get above them, apparently they can't see you. Uh, no, we can't play the slot machines. Yep, remember the. Uh, uh, range enemies have homing shots, so if they spot you, they will most likely hit you. And some of these machines you can destroy. And uh, I, I guess that, that kind of harkens back to the uh, old cartoons. They're, they're painted differently, so you can interact with them. Don't know if that was conscious on their part or if I'm just overanalyzing. Uh, do not do your role here. There's, you know, a million little lips to get hung up on. And here we have some spotlights and... Well... Might as well make it a challenge for us, I guess. Get, get spotted by the first one. So, there's a way to deal with this area during the speed run. But for now, we're not doing that. Uh oh, or are we? Okay. <laughs> well, it didn't quite mean to fall, but as long as you fall near them and get your hits off, you'll be good. Oh, we need want to make it across there, so let's see. Oh, yeah, you want to be careful when doing my little trick there. That platform moves and it'll lock on to. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't fall before we get that. And let's break these bottles of a. Uh... I don't even know what kind of alcohol that's supposed to be. Like a. What's it called? Tequila? I don't know. I feel stupid because I, you know, I, I do drink alcohol. Not a lot, but, you know, socially. I think I would know. I was a college student. I should know my alcohol decently well. Let's drop in on this guy. Just get, as long as you can get your hits off really quick. They can't even uh, fire their homing shots, so... Let's see. Uh, don't know what the point of that one is. Let's come up here. We got some bottles hidden in the trees up here. See, I guess this is supposed to be... Some sort of Vegas, though it, it looks a little too small to be Vegas. That's why I say maybe Reno. I've never been to Reno, though. I don't know if they have slots like Vegas does, or, you know, casinos and whatnot. My knowledge of Reno is limited to Reno 911. <laughs> so, probably not that accurate. And let's see. I, I can't tell if this is going forward or not. I think so. So, we want to traverse through this area. Oh boy, not good. Yep, that might take two of our hits off. Might take our. 
higher lucky charm. Let's see. No, no, no. We're good. Okay, a little screw up there. But I didn't realize till too late that there was a guard at the end with uh, a swinging spotlight. Oh, oh, we can destroy that. <laughs> Plenty of destructibles in this, uh, this level here. Oh, be sure to jump. Oh. There we go. Not even half, and I feel like we're getting close to the end of the level here. Let's see. Hey, a little ways to go. Got to traverse these tables. The water is electrified, so definitely want to stay out of there. So at first, this may seem like just an annoying gimmick, but those uh, spinning... Little uh, tables. I can't think of the casino game that they, they're they played with. Wow. <laughs> um... What is, that? is that roulette? I don't know. That might be a roulette. But here we go. Here you see now they're, they'll have a uh, little security beams in them, or security lasers. But of course they're the yellow kind, so they won't hurt you yet. Yeah, the yellow. They're the yellow kind. Oh, and there went our other hit. But man, we are we're not short on lives, even though I spent quite a few last level. Here we go. We can climb up here. Uh, I want to make sure I don't get to a point of no return before I collect all of the bottles, and I really feel like we are missing some. And this might be a, a return right here. But let's see what we'll, we'll come up against. There we go. Just avoid the beams like always. The uh, ones they added in there... Here we go. Now they'll become an issue because we've got to kind of jump against the grain, if you will. There we go. Not too bad, though. 35. There. Oh, boy. I just don't know. There better be three up here. One. There's one up here. Of course. Let's see. You can't climb on these. Right there is the end of the level. So let's see how much backtracking we can do. See if we can't go back and get them. I don't know if my... Uh, Binocucoms will show the collectibles anymore because we're in a different level. I think the one, the ability I had only influenced of Raleigh's level, so sadly, not going to be as easy to get everything. But it shouldn't be that hard to begin with. I mean, bright green bottles, there's a really good draw distance in this game. But I say that, and we might be at the end here, I think. The way back is up there, so we're, we're going to be forced to do, finish the level, but that's fine. We can go back through, and uh, I will jump back in to when I find them, and then jump back in when I'm opening the vault and getting our new power and or upgrade. So, let's go ahead and end this. And the end of this level is a real bastard for the speedrun portion. You see what I mean right here? Sly, this giant roulette wheel is spinning too fast to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. Yep, he said it best. Yeah, so you can't jump this way. So you gotta jump this way, and now there are lasers in our way. But, oh, you see, it's a, it gets kind of easy to overshoot your jump. There we go. So yeah, you screw up just once on the speedrun section, and that can cost you, uh, you know, finishing at goal speed or not. So we beat that, but we got to go back and find the other two. So I'll do that and I'll cut back in at the relevant parts. So I'll see you soon. And wow, cutting back in. There they are right at the beginning. Man, I really should take my time. All right, I'm going to cut back in Whoa, to when I am at the vault. I'll see you then. All right, guys, we're back. We're at the vault. Let's open it up and see what is inside. Man, I'm getting swift with deciphering these codes. Dial 338. All right, three, three, and eight. Okay, this page is from your hyperactive ancestor, B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to use it. Okay, so kind of the opposite of our other power, except this works without having to jump. This will speed up time, which can be helpful if you're, uh... There we go. Speeding up. Speeding up. There we go. Yeah. 
kind of fast motion. Uh, and with that, we can just exit the level. Uh, yeah, that can be useful if you're waiting for an enemy to, you know, patrol out of your way. And I'm sure it has other uses that I am not thinking of right now. Uh, well, you can just play move faster with it. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the next area. Where is that going to be? Let's see, you got this guy right here, so let's uh, speed him up. There we go. Ain't no thing. And what was he guarding up here? Oh, this was... Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> He's guarding the entrance area. This is where we uh, started. So, I think we can go up here. This should lead us to something. Possibly the next area. Who knows? Yeah, this will be useful for the Let's Play. Getting around... Uh, get a lot of stuff done with this. Alright, let's see. What do we have up here? Alright, you got a mini game. That'll be fun. Cannot think of what it is. Oh, one of these. Okay, Murray we'll have a few of these Murray mini, uh, mini games. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Yeah, switch it up a little bit. Get some um, first-person shooter elements. It's not perfect. It's not uh, well-refined, but it is fun. It's a break from the sneaking. Oh, I'm going in oh there we go. So yeah, hit the X button to uh, to aim or to shoot. Use your stick to aim. And a little bit, is, uh, a little bit of this is uh, you know just knowing where enemies are gonna be coming from, because it it'll get a little tricky. There we go. Oh man, and don't do that. That will end the level. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Murray. I got an itchy trigger finger. Okay. Let's go, Sly. No. So you can shoot pretty fast. But the controls are a little loose, and that adds to the challenge, really. So enemies will... They don't move uh, that slow. So I wonder if we can just blow these up. Oh, yeah. Careful. Uh, notice he does have a... Uh, a lucky charm there. Oops, and we knocked it off of him. I think we'll be able to shoot through here. No. No. There we go. Yeah, be careful with those barrels. You want to... It's only safe to explode them if he's well away no. from them. Whew. Oh, saw his bat there. All right. I made it halfway. And you can't control the camera. It'll zoom in for you. So you'll have to deal no. with that. Oh, okay. No. Let's see, don't hit Murray. Uh oh, oh, where are you going? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be tough. If they see him, they'll fire their homing shots at him. Whoa, who saw him? No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh. That was luck. I'm almost done. One more. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Nice shot. Ah. Yeah, sometimes right. you gotta lead your shots a little bit, but <laughs> there's basically how you do it. With plenty of oohs and ahs and oh no's are thrown in there. Alright guys, with that one, we'll go ahead and call that uh, kind of a short episode by a few minutes. But that'll be good enough. And I will see you guys next time. We'll continue on with Mugshots Turf. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.